Why is change really an opportunity? Well, first of all, we cannot stop change and we cannot deny change. So change is happening. So the only question is, how do we react to it? Uh, we, we talk about the fact that evolutionary extinction of companies happens when they either deny change or don't notice change or don't respond to it in productive ways. So then the question becomes, how do we cultivate an organization that is capable of detecting, assessing, and reacting to change, knowing that many other organizations won't be able to do that? So if we teach ourselves how to best respond to change, to us, change is an opportunity. To them, change is an existential threat. Again, it goes to the mindset uh, issue you talked about. So the word mindset that you just brought up is hugely important for this entire process of agility. And we describe it as, as a sequence. First, you need to acknowledge that agility is achievable and it's something that can be learned. But the second part of it is what you brought up, which is the mindset. You create the organizational mindset that permeates how we think about environments, how we make decisions, how we act on a day-to-day -day basis. And then when we combine the choice to be agile, the mindset and capabilities, that's when we become agile. And of course, from that point on, leaders must be absolutely vigilant in cultivating it and leading by example, because that can go away too. We all have seen companies who have demonstrated amazing examples of agility for a given dislocation in a given environment and then promptly went out of business. Mm, and because they could not their... replicate yeah. the same kind of success. So, uh, so again, we, we describe this as an evolving, living state of being that needs to be nurtured, that needs to be very carefully attended to, but that can be achieved.